Hey everyone, it's Robert back again from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great day. It's Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> I want to keep on going with this great box set uh, that I'm just absolutely loving revisiting. Uh, kind of got away from Van Halen for the longest time, but it's cool to get back into it. They're a great band. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Before I get into everything, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. So, so far we've looked at their debut, 10 out of 10, Van Halen 2, another 10 out of 10, Women and Children First, another 10 out of 10. And today I'm going to be looking at Fair Warning. So we'll see how that ranks. Uh, I have a feeling though, just after listening to it, it's going to be pretty high up there as well. Uh, <clears throat> so, as I said earlier, I have. Uh, in my previous videos, I have um, their first album on vinyl as well, and also 1984 on vinyl as well. But this is part of the box that I'll be talking about that uh, probably tomorrow, maybe. Um, but that was it for the David Lee Roth era until I got this box set. But I do have uh, three of the four albums with Sammy Hagar. I don't have 5150 yet, yet, but I will get it. Once everything opens back up again, I haven't been able to shop other than on Amazon and, and too long. I miss my record, guys. I do have uh, four Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, OU812, and Balance. All number one albums under the Sammy Hagar era. Um, all great albums, but we're not here to talk about them. I just wanted to show you the collection uh, that I have so far. So this album here, I'll make this my thumbnail. Is uh, an amazing album. Again, I won't be playing anything off of it. I will share the Spotify playlist, but I know it's going to get blocked, so I'm not going to play any bit of it. But I'm going to speak about the uh, the songs that I've heard and uh, what I feel about them. <clears throat> um, so it's four studio album by the band released in 1981. Uh, slowest selling album of the David Lee Roth era, only selling two million copies at, at, uh, upon its release. Um, but the critics still gave it a good uh, a good review. Uh, and Esquire magazine said it, it listed as at the uh, one of the 75 albums that every man should listen to or listen to or own. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's a rock and rock and album. I think uh, don't not, you don't have to be a man to, to uh, enjoy this album. Um, it's definitely a darker album than the previous three albums. Kind of weird, kind of quirky, kind of out there. Uh, there's no fun songs on it. No big hits like the uh, previous three albums. Uh, but it's got some of the fiercest and hardest um, music that that Van Halen, sorry, that Van Halen had uh, has ever made or put out to that time, uh, up until that time. Just uh, in-your-face type of music. Uh, it highlights the power of the band, uh, but it gets overlooked based on their previous albums, uh, based on 1984. Uh, it definitely gets overlooked. As I said earlier, there's no hits on it. Um, 
but uh, maybe Unchained would be about the only song that uh, I've heard on the radio. Uh, mean Streets occasionally, the opening tune. But uh, Unchained, I guess, would be um, a staple on classic rock radio. But it's not classified as a single. Um, doesn't mean just because there's no fun on it that it's not a rockin' album. Um, and maybe there's no fun because a lot of tension between David Lee Roth and, and Eddie Van Halen at the time. Um, things weren't great between the two of them. Um, next couple of albums would probably be the end of the David Lee Roth era. Uh, but uh, So there was tension already built up. Dave wanted the, the, the fun, sex drinking type of tunes and, 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 and Eddie and the rest of the band were you know, we want to show our talent and, and straight ahead rock and roll. Um, his guitar, Eddie's guitar dominates this album, just dominates it. Uh, there's no instrumentals as far as a solo guitar. There is uh, a small instrumental by the band um, but not just by Eddie itself. Um, but um, from the opening track of Mean Streaks, Streets, sorry, to the close of One Foot at the Door, uh, the band itself is a top form. Um, Fair Warning is definitely a masterpiece and an album you need to listen to, in my opinion. Um, Mean Streets uh, begins with bombastic guitar work, just in your face guitar work. Uh, dirty Movies, Slow Burner with another powerful intro, uh, funky rhythm throughout, throughout the song. Uh, the um, what's uh, center, center Swing, sorry. Um, It's another rock and tune, just, just, just a cool, cool song. Hear about it later. Another great intro by Eddie, and then the the heavy rhythm section uh, kicks in with uh, featuring Michael Anthony's uh, bass and Alex's uh, drumming. Just a, a heavy, uh, cool rhythm. Um, the rock and unchained. Uh, heavy, heavy track, deep bass groove by again Michael. Michael Anthony is, is uh, I don't know if he's underrated or not because he, he's he's pretty popular, but uh, he just shines on this album. Just just shines. Push come to shove, uh, another great bass run and guitar intro. Also, uh, kind of a great tale sung by uh, David, uh, kind of bluesy, kind of jazzy. So this is Love, a great grooving track and a rocker, great harmonies by the band. Uh, Sunday Afternoon in the Park, um, this is the little mini um, um, instrumental by the band, not, not just by Eddie. It's got a futuristic sound to it. Um, it's only about two minutes. Um, and then it, uh, it's almost like a bit of a breather before it, it leads into one foot out the door and then again it's just boom it's in your face again again it's no short track so between the two of them it's about a four minute um, musical masterpiece so you got the two minutes of uh, Sunday afternoon in the park the futuristic intro and then the heavy rocker uh, one foot out the door uh, it's a short song uh, but in your face uh, David just growls when he sings it um, and a blistering guitar solo by Eddie just just an amazing album. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. I think it's just, if not one of their best, uh, it's pretty darn close to one of their best. So, so far, this box set is a big 10 out of 10. Which doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Um, 
so of course this is all in my opinion you, you guys can definitely think differently I don't mind that at all that's everyone's a totally um, uh, your opinion matters uh, just because I'm saying what it is is what I like what you like everyone likes what they like um, if you feel different, that's cool. Just put it in the comments how, what you think is a better album. Just be nice. And I, I no problem uh, understanding why and, and thinking why. Again, just because I say I like something doesn't mean you have to like it. But so far, I'm really loving this box set. Um, next, we're going to look at uh, Diver Down. That'll be probably tomorrow. I'll probably finish up the box set tomorrow with Diver Down and... Uh, um, their big commercial hit 1984 so we'll see how that works out how that uh, how that album ranks in the um, in the scheme of things again please hit the like and subscribe button below thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far you guys have been amazing I love all your comments I try to respond to as many comments as possible and uh, keep them coming again uh, please hit the like and subscribe. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed. You guys are just, I can't say enough. I'm really happy with that and uh, I'm really enjoying this. Um, and uh, look for more. Uh, look for the Spotify playlist below. I'll definitely share that. And uh, enjoy this and other Van Halen albums. Take care. Bye bye.